Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm so excited to do. It's going to be all about the new makeup releases. This is my Will I Buy It series that I post every single Wednesday where I chat with you over everything that has been announced this week and talk about what I'm planning to pick up, what I already bought, and what I'm not so interested in buying. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. So I like to start with my outfit of the day. Today we just have on slippers as usual, some dark denim shorts and just a little yellow crop top here. That's all, we're not super exciting in the fashion department today, but I will always link anything that I can down below. Didn't do any filming on this look because I actually did my makeup at 7.30 this morning. I usually do not get ready until the afternoon and start filming, um, but I had a few different things that I was doing this morning, so I needed to have my makeup done for that, but I feel like it's been holding up pretty well. But I will link everything down below. And I'll start this video off with what I'm wearing on my eyes because this is the new Natasha Denona Mini Bronze palette. All right, so I'm filming this on Tuesday like I normally do for my Will I Buy It series, and this palette launched today. I was actually able to grab it early at Sephora. It was in the back. Someone from the Sam Squad commented to let me know that you saw it available at Sephora Venetian. So I went online. I saw it was also available at Caesars. I ran there. They got it from the back so I could purchase it. So I do already have a first impression video with swatches, a comparison to the bronze palette, and also my first look with this palette. That's already up on YouTube. If you haven't checked it out yet, I will link it up in the cards but it was funny because someone commented on that video and said oh I must have missed you talking about this in a will I buy it and I was like I actually didn't even get the chance to talk about it in a will I buy it yet because it got announced like I think we had seen that Natasha was saying something is coming but we hadn't actually seen anything yet and so it got announced after I'd already filmed for last week so I was gonna include it in this week's video and I was gonna say that I was gonna buy it but I already bought it. So here it is. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Like I said, I was just getting ready really early in the morning, which is not my forte. I do not know how I used to do my makeup at 5.30 in the morning when I used to work at the hospital at 6. Those days are long behind me. So I was just getting ready pretty quickly, but all I did was the center matte shade and then the shimmer. That's it. Two eyeshadow look, pretty easy. Pretty much like I always do, uh, but my first look that I do have here on YouTube, I use all five shades and the palette. I use some false lashes, and I was really feeling the bronze makeup look that I created. For me, I love the Natasha Denona palettes. I love the formula. It's one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow formulas around. I buy so many of the new releases, even palettes that I'm not I'm not thinking are going to be a 100% favorite of mine. I typically still buy them, like the Pastel Palette, which is a midi palette, which is $65, but someone commented and said they're now $69, and I was like, oh, okay. Uh, but I bought the Pastel Palette recently, and again, while it's not an absolute favorite of mine, I actually ended up really enjoying it a lot more than I thought that I was going to for a Pastel Palette, because the Natasha formula is that good. And again, when I saw the mini bronze, I was like, is this going to turn into an absolute favorite of mine? Probably not. It was $27. Again, these are usually $25, so Natasha has raised her prices recently. Um, so I did purchase this one at the $27, but I got four times points at Sephora. That was cool, even though I don't really use my points. Ever. I like the tones in here. I do own the bronze palette and again I do some comparisons in my YouTube video here as well. I really like the bronze palette. Is anything ever going to top my Natasha Denona mini nude? I don't know. That one is just such a favorite of mine. I mentioned that in my last ranking all the eyeshadow palettes that I tried in the month of June. Colors like these like I love neutrals, I love bronzy look, I love easy to use formulas, which is why I love Natasha Denona so much, so clearly I was going to end up buying this one. Like I said in my video, I do wish that there would have been another shimmer, but the first look that I did when I used all of the mattes first, I really liked that look. I would rock a look like that for sure, but I think maybe another shimmer would have like kind of put this one over the edge for me, but I still think that I'm really going to like it. Like I said, I don't know if this will turn into an absolute favorite of mine, but I'm glad I purchased it. So, will I buy it? Signs point to yes. All right, so I actually got some PR from ColourPop this week, and it's something that I'm really excited for. I saw this photo on Trend Mood this morning, and then I went to my mailbox, and I was like, oh, I hope this is what I think it is. So this is their new, what is this called? The Clay It Cool Collection. Okay, what I am most excited for out of here is the Super Shock Bronzers. 
Super Shock bronzers. I do like me some ColourPop bronzers, especially it's under the Soul Body line, but the bronzing balm, that one is super beautiful as well. I actually really enjoy the Super Shock formula. One of the first products that I really loved from ColourPop was the Super Shock blushes. There was a while where I wasn't so into the Super Shock shadows. Now I definitely am, but the blushes were one of, again, like a first favorite of mine. And now we have the Super Shock bronzer. And the shade range looks really nice on this. I don't know if you'll be able to tell with the glare from my light, but the shade range looks really good. So I'm super excited to try these. I think maybe I would be either Beachin or Get Sandy. Oh, it's nice. So this one here is Get Sandy. That's the one that I'm thinking might be best for me. I'm really excited to try these out. This was definitely a collection that caught my attention. You know, ColourPop comes out with so much. I actually had two ColourPop PR boxes in my mailbox and I got the BT21 collection that I talked about last week that I wasn't sure what that was, but a lot of you were with me on that one, so thank you so much. I felt very seen and accepted last week. I had that one in there. So ColourPop does release so much. So when they come out with a collection that I'm like, ooh, like that's what gets me really excited. And that's how I was feeling with this one. There is also a shimmering body powder in here. There's a, some blotted lips. So I'm gonna be trying those out. And then they are also releasing this Clay It Cool palette. I will say I was kind of hoping, <laughs> don't make fun of me. I was kind of hoping for almost more browns <laughs> i love me some brown eyeshadow okay like i also love me some orange and purple and green and red but like brown is just it's like comfort zone makeup for me okay and so i just thought with like clay it cool i, I mean I, I know there's red clay i just for whatever reason my mind went to browns but this makes sense i get it this makes sense to the collection and to the name. And it looks really beautiful. And this Need You is actually a uh, cream shadow. So I thought that was really interesting. Then we have some mattes and some beautiful shimmers. So I'm gonna be doing a look with the collection. You can let me know if you wanna see it here on YouTube in a longer form video, or if you'd wanna see it more of a short form video, like on my Instagram, which is Merch Beauty Word. I post a lot of demos over there also. But I'm definitely gonna be digging into this collection. This is one of those that if I wasn't on ColourPop's PR, I would buy a Super Shock bronzer. I think I would still go ahead and buy the palette and probably a blooded lip as well from the collection. Uh, so I'm excited about that. Thank you to ColourPop for sending this over and I will have some looks coming soon. And are you planning to pick this one? Oh, I didn't say also, but I bought a crimper. So that's where this hair is coming from. I can't decide yet if I like it or not. Like I do kind of feel like how it looks like when I braid my hair and I take my braids out, but I don't know, it also kind of left these like harsh lines up here, which is why I have some of my hair tied back. I don't know, I saw a girl on TikTok use this crimper and it looked like she had actual curls, like curls how my hairstylist does it and I can't achieve those, nor do I even have the right curling one for it. So I bought the exact same crimper and I'm like, Looks like I crimped my hair, not got curls. So I don't know how it was she did. I'm gonna have to revisit her video because I look like she just did how you normally crimp your hair like back when I was in the 90s and was doing this hairstyle, but I don't know. I will have a haul coming. I think it's gonna be tomorrow's video. I have just a little bit of a collective haul from Sephora. I went to a beauty event in Las Vegas last week and then also my Amazon Prime Day haul, which is where I bought my crimper. So that haul will be coming very soon. But let's see, I feel like we have quite a few different lip products to discuss. And you know what's funny? Last week, I talked about how Urban Decay came out with new liquid lipsticks. And I said, I think it's interesting that they came out with a liquid lipstick because those aren't really as on trend right now, but maybe liquid lips are making a comeback. And so many people commented and was like, no, I don't think that's happening. I don't think that's what it is. Well... This week, let me tell you about some new lip products. We have from Makeup Forever, their Artist Forever Matte 24 Hour Long Wear Liquid Lipstick. This is $25. Weightless, transfer proof liquid lipstick, intense color with a smoothing matte finish for 10 shades. Okay. So I really haven't been wearing liquid lipsticks all that much these days. They were what I only wore for several years there. Uh, and I have bought a lot of lip products as of recently. I have held this one just a few videos ago. This is from Tarte, one of their Maracuja 
juicy lip plumps i just got in from rare beauty uh they sent me their whole lip collection their lip liner and their lipstick i did do a pr haul try on video recently as well if you want to see that one i can link it up in the cards uh from my last sephora haul i bought the tarte i bought a kosas lip liner and i bought a give beauty lipstick like i've been very much on the lipstick train these days so and now with also getting the Urban Decay, I feel like I'd kind of just rather try those. But also House Labs came out with their Atomic Shake Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick for $26. Clean, transfer proof, delivers high impact color with a glossy vinyl finish, lasts all day. This one only has four shades. So you're definitely going to get some more with the uh, Makeup Forever. Urban Decay does have 12 shades which is $25. They're all kind of around the same price point, but I'm just going to stick with trying out the Urban Decay, but I don't know, are you are you still wearing liquid lipstick? Do you want liquid lipstick to make a comeback? How are we feeling about this? Another lip product I see is from Dior. This is their Forever Transfer Proof Lipstick. Uh, it's up to 16, 16 hours of wear. Lightweight, ultra pigmented, matte color, hydrating, long wearing, transfer proof, $42 for 16 shades. And it's going to be available July 21st. So not a liquid lipstick. It does come as a bullet form. Again, I, I, I really do like Dior. I haven't tried a whole lot of their lip products. I really like their complexion products and their cheek products. And again, like I said, I have been buying a lot of lips recently, so I'm gonna skip on that one. Speaking of Dior though, this is by far what I got the most amount of tags on, and it's probably one of the things that I'm most disappointed in as well. Uh, from Dior, this is their new Forever Natural Matte Velvet Compact Foundation. No transfer compact foundation, up to 24 hours of naturally matte coverage reduces shine and delivers a smooth, refined skin texture. It's going to be $60 and in 16 shades. The tags started rolling in. I looked at this first photo that I'll have on the screen as well, and I was like, this is so exciting. I'm definitely buying that. I saw the $60 and I was like, that hurts, but I'll buy it anyways because I love my powder, no powder. I have it right here because I used it to touch up before I sat down to film. This is like my fourth or fifth one right here. I go through these all of the time because I wear it so much. It makes my skin look so blurred and just like I have a filter on. And especially when I was really, really struggling with acne, this helped me feel more confident <laughs> so much. Uh, so I love the powder, no powder. It's one of the things that if you search for my name, it's one of the first things that pops up besides Samantha March Divorce that's gone back to number one. Very excited about that. I did a vlog uh, that went up yesterday and I went out with a few other content creators in Las Vegas and I was vlogging for YouTube and so I said if you guys want to be in the vlog and so they were looking up my YouTube channel and the one goes oh my gosh I typed in Samantha March and it popped up Samantha March divorce I was like and this is why I'm in therapy so that was pretty funny but the next search was declutter and then Smith March Dior powder so Love that for me. That first photo, I was like, okay, great. This second photo, I'm like, I don't know if I'm missing something, if this isn't all of the shades or something's going on here, but this shade range looks terrible. Over half of this shade range looks exactly the same to one another. Basically no dark shades. You may not want to try it as much with the powder, no powder. They don't have as many shade options. It feels like there's a better range to it versus this one just feels like it swings really heavily. Um, to the very fair and very light side like it, it really doesn't even look like there's that many medium like I don't know if this is something that maybe I'd have to like go check out in person and and see what's happening here But from the photos that I'm seeing I just wasn't super blown away by that So kind of made me less excited to give it a try and it is very expensive. It's $60 I already know that I love the powder no powder and I continue to repurchase those and that's like $45 Which is still expensive anyways, so Thinking I'm probably just gonna keep buying those. We have some new releases coming from Ariana Grande's brand uh, Rem Beauty. This is the, we have the sweetener concealer for $24, a dream cloud blender for 15, satin sheets blotting papers for 20, and also a blurring primer for 29, and this is gonna be available July 28th on the website. I don't know why this is just, or is it R-E-M Beauty? I, I, I go back and forth between saying R-E-M and Rem. It just is like how my brain reads it. You never know what I'm gonna say, <laughs> never know. I just have not tried anything from the brand and I don't feel super swayed by it. The concealer kind of had me a little bit interested. I'm, 
I don't know if I want to say I'm not the biggest fan of pot concealers because I really do love the NARS Soft Matte. Again, when I was really struggling with acne, that product also saved me. The NARS Soft Matte, the Dior Powder No Powder, those were absolute staples for me. But other than that, I'm really not like a big, big pot concealer type of gal. And especially because I don't struggle with acne as much these days, I don't feel like I need kind of the extra coverage. But I like trying concealers. I just, I don't know if I can be swayed enough to try this one. It's also supposed to be, it says camouflaging spots, illuminating under eyes. I do not like something that's illuminating. So uh, for the under eyes or just like for concealer in general, I tried out the one from Say Beauty and I just felt like illuminating draws attention to it and i don't need attention drawn to my under eyes i don't sleep enough for that. i don't need that kind of truth in my life okay the dream cloud blender i mean i'm always down to talk to try a new sponge i am curious it says infused with ashwagandha <laughs> like does that how does that work when you wash it what happens then i'm a little curious about that claim the blotting papers I don't really need and then the blurring primer, again, not something I really need. Also, I bought the Natasha Denona High Gen and that was really pricey. So, I mean, the thing that kind of gets me the most is the blender. If you would really want to see me try out the concealer, let me know. I just, I feel like the brand just doesn't call to uh, me. From Laura Mercier, they are coming out with the Ultra Blur Talc Free Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Weightless texture, so the skin it looks and feels soft, smooth, and flawless. Has zero photo flashback with hyaluronic acid, and it's going to be a $44. There is only th three shades to this, translucent, honey, and medium deep. I don't know if medium deep would really work well, or translucent doesn't even look all that light either. I don't know, man. I don't know if those would really work for everybody, but I'm definitely more into pressed setting powder. I actually pulled out my Nikia Joy loose powder the other day, just for funsies. And I was like, oh yeah, I really do like this one. So I've been using that a little bit. So I don't, maybe I'll flip and go back over to the loose setting powder, but mostly I'm just going for a pressed powder, the Dior, the Charlotte Tilbury. So I think I'm going to pass on that one. I was a little bit surprised to see a new product from Laura Geller. I don't know if I thought that they went out of business or they just weren't making new products or they got bought by someone else. I don't know what I was thinking with Laura Geller, but I thought we had news on them like years back. I don't even know if it was pandemic really. I feel like maybe it was even before that. I don't remember, but they are coming out with the Serum Blush Cheek Tint. A refreshing cooling sensation and a watercolor like flush of color. These are gonna be $28, and right now it just has two different shades, which I wish there was a little bit more blue with practical pink and poppy peach. Like a part of me wants to try this. I don't know. When I first saw the photo, I was like, ooh, what's that? I don't I kind of like the applicator. I don't know if it's the most hygienic, like I saw some in the comments saying that, but really, like, is my concealer? Probably not. You know, and I'm just doing makeup on myself. So when I, again, was struggling with <laughs> really bad acne, I was very consciously aware of applying product and then putting it back in a tube and trying to use brushes more, things like that. But again, my skin is really cleared up, so it's not my biggest concern, but I kind of want to get one of these. Would you be interested in seeing that? I don't know why, but just when I saw the photo, my eyes went to it, and then I was like, Laura Geller, what? And then I was like, maybe. Maybe I'll get this. I feel like we actually have quite a bit going on for blushes. So Melt Cosmetics is coming out with new shades of their cream blush lights. Gives an effortless flush of color. This is gonna be available July 18th. So they have a rich watermelon pink and a soft natural pink coming out. I'm a little bit more interested in the Laura Geller, quite honestly. So I do like a good cream blush, but I think I'm going to pass on that one. And then I also saw from uh, Artist Couture, they're coming out with a new addition to our blush family, Love Sprung Face Palette Volume 3. A palette with three different shades, it's going to be $34, I believe this is going to be available now. I don't know, the photos weren't really grabbing me, I'm also just not a big face palette girl, especially if it's just all of the same type of product, like three different blushes, I would rather just buy one single blush, like I get having options and everything, it's just not my personal preference. So again, something that I would skip on, and then I believe I saw this on Hot Fire Dot Makeup, a couple of different things here. Uh, from Juvia's Place, they launched new shades of their blushed duo. They're gonna be $16. Again, do I even need like a blush duo? Probably not. So I would pass on that. 
and I saw that Tower 28 is coming out with some new shades. This is their best selling formulas now available in a new mauve shade. So we have their Shine On Milky Lip Jelly and Sesame, which is $15, and also the Beach Please Tinted Balm in Office Hours, a Sun Kiss Mauve for $20. I kind of want to grab the, I love mauve, like I love me a good mauve shade. Eyes, lips, cheeks, doesn't matter, clothes, love it all. I was saying that I wanted to try the lip jellies again because I tried them years ago. I didn't really love them, but I wasn't really in my like gloss phase then where I definitely am right now. So I'm wondering if I would maybe love them more because it's more of what I'm wearing. So, and now they came out with this mauve shade, I feel like maybe it's like a good time to try it again. So kind of thinking about picking that one up. Also, Smashbox Cosmetics is coming out with their new Halo Sheer to Stay Cream Cheek and Lip Tint. So it's a primer infused cream chicken, ch chicken lip tint. <laughs> Well, gives you a flush of blendable and buildable matte color for a fresh blurred look. It's a creamy multitasking formula, sheer to medium coverage at your fingertips. It's going to be $28. I haven't tried anything new from Smashbox in quite a while. I feel like they're a brand that doesn't get talked about a whole lot these days. I feel like I'm still leaning towards Laura Geller though. Why am I like this? I also, I really came close to buying a Pat McGrath blush when I was at Sephora the other day to buy the bronze palette. I really almost bought one of those blush duos. I came so close. I came so close, but I bought something else instead. You'll see that in my haul tomorrow. Or if you follow me on TikTok by Smith March, you probably already know what it is because it's real quick to be able to put videos up over there, let me tell you. But I don't know. I think I'm still more interested in the Laura Geller, so I'm probably going to stick with that. But again, everything will be linked down below if there's anything that you are interested in grabbing. Uh, I see from Givenchy, they have their fall collection available now. I was just saying the other day that I know that we're already starting to think about fall, which is so weird to me. I don't know what it is today. It's like 111 degrees or something like that. We're in the thoroughs of Vegas summer right now, all right? But we're thinking about the fall collection with Givenchy. There is Rouge Early Access at Sephora. We have the loose setting powder and also a finishing powder for $43 in a powdery pink shade. The Sheer Velvet Matte Lipstick, $43 in a brick red. And also the Rose Perfector Lip Balm Hydration, which is $41, pink infused with golden sparkles. I mean, I love the packaging and like the promo photos. Definitely caught my attention. The marketing team knows what's up. I also feel like that um, the pink powder is really on right now. I've been seeing so many videos of people putting blush on their under eyes and then blending it out with a concealer and a powder or using pinky powders are back. I remember those, you know, however many years ago it was, maybe like five years ago or something. Pink powders were a little bit more all of the rage. So I think that this is very on trend right now. Aren't they supposed to be releasing like the prism powder in like a setting or um, I'm sorry, like a pressed form? because I was waiting to buy that. I don't know if that's ever coming, but still for some reason, I now want this. Now want this. I also really like that lip balm, but it's $41. I did buy the Givenchy marble lip balm as well. It was a couple months ago when Angie was here visiting. I bought that marble lip balm and I actually ended up really, really liking it. I still continue to wear it and I think that it's so beautiful. And that one's more of like the liquid, um, like a lip gloss. And this one is the ball. I don't need to buy either of these. But does that mean I won't? Nope. The new collection I see is from Essence. This is their Cute as a Shell. It includes lip balm, nail polish, a blush lighter, a face sponge, and a pH reacting lip tint. Will be available mid-July. This is cute. I just, I feel like not a lot from Essence really is pulling me these days, um, really kind of calling my attention, make me do a double take, all of those things. Like it's a very cute collection, just not my personal vibe. But speaking of some more affordable, I know I got so many tags on this one too. This is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Their Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Multi-use glow booster gives skin a soft focus filter effect in real life. This can be used four different ways to enhance your natural glow, a flexible shade range, Ultra Lux glass packaging and doe foot applicator, $14 in eight shades will be available now also at Target. I've already seen quite a few people talk about this product. A lot of people, of course, are comparing it to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This is, to me, it's just, it's not a product that I use a lot. I also have from Org the Glow List, which I compared to the Charlotte Tilbury. And while I like the, I like them both, I like the Org a little bit more, 
they're just not products that I use really consistently myself. So again, this one from e.l.f. I think it's great that it's only $14. If you wanted to get something obviously very similar to the Charlotte or to the Auric, but you don't want to pay the higher price tags, this is a great way to be able to do it. If you're at Target, I miss Target. I miss Target so much. I have not let myself go to Target either because I always had a routine and when I went to Target, I always stopped and got Starbucks and then I drank my Starbucks and walked around Target and everything was lovely and I bought bottles of wine and my favorite chicken parm and because I am on the elimination diet for health reasons, I have cut out Starbucks and I've also cut out alcohol and I've cut out dairy and all of that. So I just won't even let myself go to Target. I miss you. But if you are strolling through Target and you see it, you know, throw that into your cart. That's cool. I just don't know if it's... I'm kind of debating with myself because then it's like, I've already seen so many videos about it, so I don't know if it'd really be worth it to put my opinion out there. And I just know it's a product that I don't really use a lot, so I don't know if it would be something that I'm like very excited about, and I feel like there's other products I'm more interested in. So I'm probably going to end up passing on this one. But are you gonna get it? I know a lot of people are excited for it. Then I see from Ace Pute, they are coming out with the Palette eyeshadow palette. I think I said that right. So this is kind of fun. It says it's a fun, quick, easy to play game. And it also comes with an eyeshadow palette with 24 different shades. Right, so I think that's cute and fun. It was a little bit different. I like seeing things like that. The palette I do think is really pretty too. I started to get a lot of tags on this one. I haven't tried a lot from Ace Pute. I think maybe like I want to say maybe only like one or two products. This palette does look really pretty. It's kind of larger. I typically prefer smaller palettes like the Natasha Denona's a five pan palette. I feel like if it was a little bit smaller, I would probably buy it, but I'm still kind of thinking about this one anyways, even though I've definitely gotten a lot of eyeshadow palettes recently. I have a lot to review and test out. I did also order the Glam Light and Michaela palette. It still hasn't shipped to me though. Um, so I don't know when that one will be coming. I know that they were like obviously really backed up with that release but I did purchase that palette so I've been kind of keeping tabs on when that one was going to be coming in but if you want to see some looks with the Ace Beauté let me know and I can order it but I think that one looks really pretty. I see a new collection just to like rub it in just to rub it in. This is from Spectrum Cosmetics the Hello Kitty Ice Cream. Okay. It's a nine piece brush set for $66, a three piece midi brush set for 20, a sponge quad for 20, which is so adorable, a tub makeup bag for 40, a kabuki brush is 27, or you can get the full bundle for 135. This is available now. I mean, the tub of ice cream is adorable. The sponges that look like ice cream. This is just a cruel, cruel thing to do to me right now when I am off dairy. I did make avocado ice cream the other day though. Again, I feature that in my vlog because I kind of show what I'm eating during the elimination diet, being off dairy, eggs, red meat, sugar, alcohol, caffeine. The list kind of goes on and on. What it is that I have been eating as well. And the avocado ice cream, really not that bad. I added some strawberries to it and it tastes like eating a like frozen chocolate covered strawberry. And I really enjoyed it. Helping with some of the cravings that I am having right now. This is super cute. I think it would just be a terrible thing for me to buy right now because it would probably make me go down to Dairy Queen. So I'm going to pass on that and stay strong. From a pharmacy, they are coming out with their Peaches and Clean Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm, a peach scented sorbet like cleansing balm to melt away makeup. This is going to be limited edition and $36. For each purchase, they will donate 20 meals to families in need to help fight hunger and food waste. I really do like a lot of products from pharmacy and I really enjoy their cleansing balm. Is it like the green green clean cleansing balm or something like that. I've gone through multiples of those. I did get an email from pharmacy. It sounds like they are sending this one over to me. I'm not a huge fan of really scented uh, skincare products, especially going around my eye area. I'll see what I think of it when I get it and try it out. So I'll definitely try it out. Cause like I said, I know that I like some of their other products too. Um, I don't think that it's anything that I would need to be purchasing for myself at this moment, but I can definitely give it a shot and let you know what I think. I got a lot of tags on this one from Good Molecules. This is their acne foaming cleanser, a fluffy foaming cleanser with 2% salicylic acid to treat and prevent acne. Right now, I just see coming soon. So this is one, I don't think that I would necessarily need it right now though, because my acne is pretty under control. I will have a video coming soon talking about my full acne journey and everything that was happening um, because I wasn't 
speaking about it for a while because I was not talking about the fact that I was in fertility treatments with my ex-husband and that's what was really causing the most amount of damage to my skin um, but I also go into depth of how I started to really heal my skin after obviously getting off treatments and and everything like that so that video has been filmed it will be coming soon I know it's very overdue but it's not the easiest for me to talk about either. So that video will be coming soon. Um, so my my acne I think is pretty under control right now. So I probably wouldn't need something with the salicylic acid. So I'm going to pass on that. I do see from Patrick Tog. I want to take some of this one too. This is available now at Sephora. The Major Brow Defining Pencil. Okay, it has pencil sharp precision. Perfect for filling in sparse brows. This is going to be $25. I might pick this up. I For a second, I thought I had it, but I think I was thinking of the Makeup by Mario. I don't know why I mix up Makeup by Mario and Patrick Ta Beauty all of the time. Like, I don't know what that's about. I like trying out new brow pencils. I did just buy the one from Give Beauty. It's not what's in my brows today because this takes me a little bit longer to do than my Goop Proof, which is what I have on. But I like trying out brow pencils, which is quite funny for a girl who spent her first year on YouTube not filling in her brows at all. <laughs> who remembers those days i think we just have a couple products left so from human race this is the ozone protection line so we have a daily moisturizer with spf 30 it is going to be 58 dollars or 54 for the refill and then we have the body protection cream again spf 30 and this is going to be 52 dollars both of these are mineral spfs i mean i i'm very much into spf i wear it every day i buy a lot of them i've been trying out this one from charlotte tilbury sent this to me recently the invisible uv flawless primer i purchased the one from summer fridays I mean, I am always trying to make sure my face, my neck, my hands especially are being covered. I noticed the other day, I don't know if you can tell too badly on camera, but I was in the mirror and I was like, you can tell there is a significant difference between my hands and then the rest of my arms are different colors because I'm very keen on putting sunscreen on my hands. It's one of the first places that you really notice aging with your hands on the steering wheel, just beating down on the sun. Like I always make sure to have sunscreen on my hands but i don't know these are only spf 30 and they're pretty pricey just for an spf like the ilia has a little bit of not coverage but it has a little bit of like a tint to it the summer fridays is really nice and glowy um so even using that with just like a concealer i, I get a very kind of glowy makeup look while still being protected so i don't know i don't think I'm gonna end up purchasing those. I, I think that I can pass on that. I was also a little bit confused about this. Uh, I just read this this morning, but Halsey is coming out with another beauty brand and this is called A494 um made to play makeup a full color collection in categories of eyes lip cheek and body so it looks to be a more affordable line. Most things are around six, seven, eight dollars. And the quote is, I wanted to create another self-expressive self-expressive line that was lower priced with a wide reach, was developed for Gen Z consumer and beauty novices alike. Will be available July 25th, online exclusive at Walmart and approximately 2,900 stores. To me, it seems really similar to About Face, but I also, I haven't tried anything from them and I don't know the brand super well, but my first thought, my first like glance looking through these, I was like, I feel like this does kind of look like About Face. It's just a more affordable version of the line. I don't know. I'm curious to get your thoughts on it. Do you feel like this is a good direction to go? Like having two brands that are similar with different price points? Or are you kind of like, why? Or are you in the mindset of like, well, it gives more, you know, more people more options, which is good. I just am kind of in like the, I'm not fully sure that I get it, but you know, it's nice that there is something that's a lower price tag. I just, and I know things are different for celebrities, but man, when I think about like businesses and how much it like takes to like run a business and just everything that goes behind of it all like the licensing and the copyright and the fees and the legalities and all of that i'm like man, starting a second business i'm like i don't know man that stresses me out just to read about it but i'll be curious if you are interested to try this one would you be more into about face just curious to hear your thoughts on that but other than that that is going to do it for this week's will i buy it video i hope you enjoyed hearing about all of the new makeup releases and my thoughts on them as always i would love to know what you think though don't forget to leave a comment down below santa sam is back and like i mentioned 
I had some ColourPop PR packages coming my way, so it's going to be going to some winners. I've just been drawing winners randomly throughout the month of July on my YouTube, my Instagram, and also my TikTok. The names that I see pop up often and are most familiar, so don't forget to leave a comment if you want the chance to get entered to win a little prize box from me throughout the month of July. But again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll see you in my next video.